Sims 4 Island Living. <laughs> The Sims 4 Moschino Stuff Pack. Ah! His realm of magic. Ah! <laughs> Steph, oh, does some merch show. Oh, please buy it. Fuck. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, we've entered the magic portal and we're traveling to the realm of magic. When Guardian Levio shit. I went to the fucking nether again. Hello, sinners, simmers, and spellcasters. The three genders. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today, EA really did it to them and casted the bippity boppity we're reclaiming your property with a deck collectors and you spent all your money on Sims packs. Again! Again. Uh, I'm just kidding, I received this game for free. Thank you, EA. So if it seems like there is any bias, just make sure to spam me in the comments telling me that I am licking EA's magical stick. I swear to God, a familiar owl is about to fly through the Yeet. window and serve me a cease and desist letter from EA. They want nothing to do with me. Let's just yeet into this. My dick fell off! So usually in these reviews, I would be playing with my sim Tisha Potato, so known as Tish Like Fish, and soon to be Dumbledore. <laughs> she is along oh with us, God. Oh, oh gone but never forgotten because uh, fought can never be fought gotten. <laughs> and also we'll be carrying her urn around the whole time in the hopes that there is a resurrection spell <laughs> on this. <laughs> anyway, today we'll be playing with my. And Shane Dawson and Voldemort, also known as Jafetus Deletus. But before we become witches, we need to become bad bitches because I'm a bad witch, you can't kill me. So we're gonna take a look at the new cast items. So for the ladies, there seems to be three distinct categories. You can be Sabrina Spellman, Bellatrix, or a fucking Dominatrix, and there is yeah! no in between. <laughs> like this one is screaming when you go to wizard school, but you still get dress coded for showing your shoulders. And then this one, is saying, fuck you, here's my shoulders in a latex condom. <laughs> Choose your fighter. I'm not the biggest fan of the clothes, but the hairs and the accessories, I literally read. The tights, the necklaces, these moon and star earrings, they made me want to look at the actual star, the sun, and go fucking blind so that they were the last thing I ever saw. <laughs> I don't want to see anything else. This is all I needed to see. And then there was the makeup which made Euphoria drop dead. <laughs> My only complaint as a beauty guru myself is that the lipstick, the ombre lips are a little bit dusty. And in the words of Sophia Nygaard, she has butthole lip. <laughs> What's that? Girl, that's a booty hole. On to the men. Why do I say that every time? It sounds like I'm about to fucking mount some men. On to the men! <laughs> Hairstyles, I think you mean Harry styles because that's all that they're giving me and I am doing the opposite of complaining. <laughs> and then the clothes kind of look like you joined a cult and then rolled around in the mud. The mud, the mud and dirt, okay. <laughs> So naturally I put them all on Shane because that seemed like his aesthetic. There's no content for the kids and toddlers, which sounds just like my channel. Just no fucking content for kids. And in general, you can't be a wizard until you're a teenager, which is like the vampires, but the vampires made sense because I wouldn't want my kid running around su biting necks. <laughs> but not including anything for kids in this pack just kind of seemed Lazy. lazy especially with the stars of the biggest wizard film of all time which this pack has clearly taken inspiration from with the houses and familiars and wizard school <laughs> which is why i will be starting a movement called content for kids and that is the tagline of my channel <laughs> Build is good. I have eight brain cells and that is also the number that I give build mode out of 10. <laughs> Specifically the build items, like all the windows, they have a spooky, spooky stained glass version and also a nice modern version. So give it up for versatility. Speaking of versatile, we have new bench, st bench stairs. Are they gay stairs? <laughs> 
L-shaped stairs. No longer will we simmers take fat L's every time we want to put stairs in a five by five house. We can just make L-shaped stairs or W shapes. <laughs> so in my next video, I will be tunneling to hell with these new stairs. So in this alternate simulation universe, Voldemort actually killed Harry Potter and now lives inside his house. Also, I didn't build this house. I got it off a gallery because we all know I haven't built anything since I lost my mind and built a fucking Gucci slide of The Sims. But of course, Jeffrey can't live amongst us fucking peasants. So I built him a secret <laughs> underground makeup lab sex potion dungeon. <laughs> They live in Glimmerbrook, which is one of the two new worlds, but compared to the other one, this one looks like a basic witch world, as it's a bit small, and also, as always, the houses are fucking garbage. <laughs> Garbo! I mean, at this point, I am convinced that Lil Simsy is paying them to make them purposely shit so that she can renovate. <laughs> the builds are so ugly. For instance, this house is built like a Roblox character, and this house has a staircase going into fucking nothing. <laughs> you better stop! <laughs> So like the vampires, wizards also have unlockable skills, but they also have a skill book with a resurrection spell. Rise up gamers because Tisha will rise again. But first we had to turn myself and Shane Dawson into spell casters and also travel through the nether portal to the, the secret, secret wizard, wizard world. I can hear JK rolling on the phone to her lawyer. Dumble cunt. This has to be one of my favorite worlds that we have got. It's whimsical, it's beautiful. You may as well just edit my fucking wig onto the islands because it's levitating. <laughs> 10 out of 10 Dobby dicks. There's the magic school, this glass uh, conservatory greenhouse. Gases are causing global warming. Did I take crack before I started this video? This little district where you can buy wands, brooms, potions, Liagon Alley. <laughs> and you can also have magic jewels at the dueling, the dueling arena. It's just two wizards standing there fucking doing vape tricks. <laughs> <laughs> to become a wizard, you will need to find this Walmart Hagrid. Find bowls, which you can also eat later on for power. <laughs> eat the balls. They really dropped the ball on this one. <laughs> and now, you're a wizard, Harry. I'm a fort. <laughs> And just like that, all of my sims were wizards and Jeffrey immediately performed the most powerful wizard spell known to wizards. And I know what you're thinking, resurrecting Tisha? Uh, no, I'm actually talking about the mac and cheese potion. I mean, this whole spell could put Postmates out of business, which was great because Jeffrey has never cooked in his life and immediately tried to kill himself via a grilled cheese sandwich. And I don't know if I can take losing another sim right now. I'm just... I'm in a really dark place right now. <laughs> I had each of my sims study in one of the three houses. Jeffrey in Untamed Arts because he yeah! is the Dark Lord. Me in so Mischief because I am the Dark Lord. <laughs> and Shane in Practical Magic because he's always cleaning up everyone else's shit tan up. <laughs> so the main way to learn magic is by practicing buying tomes of spells and potions. And you can also ask the sage to teach you one spell a day. Trash! Although it probably will be an irrelevant spell that you weren't looking to learn, like this one, which makes food appear on the ground. Magical food. I'm trying to resurrect a sim, not become an Uber Eats driver. <laughs> By reading the spell book, I realized that the untamed magic was the path to resurrection, so. Hey bitch, what's up bitch? Suck my dick bitch. So I decided to kidnap the sage of untamed magic, lock him in my basement, give him a love potion and seduce him. <laughs> Bippity boppity, you can't leave my property. <laughs> Unfortunately, he escaped and never gave me the resurrection spell. Even after I tried to duel him for knowledge, he still beat my ass. So I now have to beat his meat until I can beat him. The resurrection spell. I'm going to jail. <laughs>
I also, as a precaution against death, gave everyone a familiar. So now I have this fucking demon bunny. Please nice. take me fucking fully in on me. I'm a fucking rip your face off, bitch. Jeffrey has an owl, it's and Shane has them. Cheeto no, the cat because cats and dogs can be familiars. Familiars don't really do anything. The dogs can fetch you ingredients, and the familiars that came in this pack just kind of patronize oh, you when you neat. learn a new spell. It's like having a fucking reaction channel as a pet. Everything was going great. Great, Jeffrey was powerful in both mind and body. <laughs> Bye! He was now burning the paparazzi alive. I eventually had Morgan vachmatized and he gave me the necro call. Necrophilia. It's called necrophilia. <laughs> Which allows you to summon ghosts and finally we were one step closer to being reunited with Tisha. But in my distraction, I didn't notice she <laughs> a curse and fucking die. <laughs> it's happening again, it's happening again. <laughs> finesse death itself. <laughs> Finally, we could reconnect with Tisha, even if it was in ghost form, and did she appreciate it? Fuck no, the bitch broke all of us. <laughs> but luckily, because Shane had been in the practical arts, he had the Reparia spell already learned. Now, I am deficient in many things. Water, waking up before 11 a.m., serotonin. <laughs> but apparently, I'm also deficient at my fucking job because I failed to notice that Jeffrey was succumbing to darkness. Fuck on your bitch like I'm Hefner. I take 10% like I rep her. No fake in my tits, but I'll check her. Your bitch give me brain like her neck hurts. Big fat white nasty smelling fat bitch. This isn't this isn't even a feature in the pack. There is no dark or light path. But because I had only trained him in the untamed arts in my quest to bring back Tisha, he only knew how to freeze Sims, turn them into objects. <laughs> Women, am I right? <laughs> and then when my sim self accidentally went to sleep in his fucking robot alien sleeping pod, he set the whole bed on fire with me in it. <laughs> I give my sims autonomy for one fucking video and suddenly they think they run the show. Well, they don't. If he want to act like Voldemort, he may as well have the whole look. Here's his final four. <laughs> After duplicating himself so he could beat up all the sages at once. Locking the untamed teacher in a bathroom and then setting the toilet on fire, he finally taught us the resurrection spell so I would stop harassing him. <laughs> and it was time for the ritual to commence. Wow, what a great end to the story. My videos are so fun and family friendly. Let's hold a party to celebrate Tisha's life once again. It's about to get lit. Jeffrey literally fucking lit up his own house. He said, burn the witches. <laughs> I think he's possessed. He looks like a Billie Eilish music video. <laughs> I had to lock him in a room by himself so he wouldn't kill any of the Sims. And then he just duplicated himself so that he could torture the guy. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. <laughs> so I had no choice but to Jafetus Yeetus his ass into the basement and lock him in there forever. Legend has it he's still in there setting shit on fire.
actual shit. It was always the toilet for some reason. What the fuck? The Amazon on fire? The glaciers melting? I found the cause. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> I realize upon reflection that the reason this was happening was because he was in the club I'm a bad witch you can't kill me and the only club trait I had given it was to cast spells but I'd like to think that he became Voldemort <laughs> if the shoe fit I have cried more in the last two videos than a fucking beauty guru apology video <laughs> at least I can monetize my suffering Sometimes. I feel like I need to make an apology video after this. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> anyway, if you were only here to watch me act like a clown, then this is the end of the video, but we also have time for a review. Sim pack review. <laughs> like always for this section, I'm gonna focus on the negatives because I'm a bitch. No, because most of this video served as showing the positives. Realm of Magic is fun and has replayability. Unlike Stranger fucks. <laughs> However, it's one of those packs that you play and there's not really a goal in mind or any kind of story progression. Like you can master the arts, but you can't become a sage or a teacher or change the realm of magic in any way. Like for instance, I thought there would be like a good and bad path. So if you followed the good path, you would not use magic outside of the realm. So you wouldn't expose magic to the muggle world. <laughs> and even if you do use the dark untamed magic there's no real consequences like you can't be stripped of your powers or anything like that unless you get a curse or overuse your powers but that can happen to good or bad i don't know why i keep saying that there is no good or bad path it's just you're a wizard <laughs> like there's no consequences or rewards which is the same issue i had with stranger thing bill <laughs> Fuck. and then the trailer also teased that there was this kind of magical balance but that was never referenced in the pack at all <laughs> like i thought that if i overuse the untamed arts and didn't focus on either of the other houses that the world would literally get Thanos snapped but nothing happens. I am invincible and I am Thanos. I just wish there was like some kind of system in place that encouraged you to rise through the ranks but all you really do is just get more spells unlocked and that's kind of it. <laughs> but to answer the question of should you buy this because I'm probably going to title this video that, well I guess it's up to you. <laughs> should you buy Realm of Magic? Yes. yes. <laughs> I literally shat on this pack for like two minutes and then was like, yes, buy this pack. Sounds fucking sus, but it's one of the better packs out of all of the shallow content we've got. It's not like a kiddie pool shallow. It's like you're on the shallow end and you might need to swim a little bit, but you're definitely not on the deep end. What the fuck? But out of the three packs we've got this year, Stranger Fuck, uh, Machine Mosquito and uh, Islands, <laughs> this pack is by far the best one. <laughs> Yeah.